how to verify Binance account in Ghana. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, okay? So after creating your Binance account, the next thing I have to do is to simply verify it by simply going through all these process. So I'm going to take you through it step-by-step, -step, okay? So in this video, that's what I'm going to do. So just stick with me and let's do it. The first thing I have to do is to just take your phone and then go to Play Store and then search for the Binance app, okay? Just type in Binance and when it comes just like this one, select it and then install it. So I'm going to go through the installation process and then when it's finished installing, what I'm going to do is just open the app. So let's open the app. So when you open the app, it is then going to bring you right and then it is going to ask you which one do you prefer, which type, okay? So if you are not familiar with the app, it is good to go with the novice. But if you are an experienced user, you can go with the experienced user. But you can switch it anytime that you want, okay? So we are going to select the novice for this tutorial. So let's select the novice. So after selecting it, the app will be open just like this one. And then you have to log in or sign up. But since we have created an account already, we are going to log in by simply clicking on the login button, okay? So the next thing I have to do is to just put in your email address or phone number, the one that you used to create the account, and then click on the next. Then you have to put in your password, okay? The password that you set when creating the account, then you click on the next. So let me put it in and then click on the next. Then you have to verify your phone number, okay? They are going to send you a verification code on that phone number that you use and then you are going to use to verify that it is you. Simply click on the get code and then when you tap on the get code, you are going to choose either by WhatsApp or by text message. So I'm going to select by text message and then they have sent me the code. I'm putting it here then click on the submit. So after verifying your number, the next thing I have to do is to set a pass keys. Okay, this is a password that only you have the opportunity to unlock it. You can use Google Authenticator where you can get it from Play Store or you can simply use your phone by simply selecting on this device. Okay, so when you tap this device, they are going to give you the option to use your screen lock whereby you use your fingerprint to do it okay so all that you have to do is to set a fingerprint lock and then use your hands to tap it and then select use screen lock okay just tap on use screen lock and then you will only be the person to unlock it whenever you want to log into your account so as you can see we have successfully set the pass keys okay so when you have been able to log into it it will then ask you to verify it automatically okay so as you can see we are back to the verification process this is how the apps works okay it will ask you to verify it and then all that you have to do is to just follow the verification process step by step with me okay so on your phone just click on the continue okay just like this one i'm just going to tap on the continue and the first thing i have to do is your personal information you just have to select your nationality. So since you are in Ghana, just select Ghana. So after selecting the Ghana, the next thing you have to do is to put in your legal name, which is the first name. If you have a middle name, then you put it there and then your last name. Okay. Make sure that it is the same as the one on your ID card, the one that you are going to use to verify. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is to put in your date of birth. You put in the year, the month, then the day, then you click on continue. After that, it will take you to the home address, whereby you're just going to put in your residential address here. Just put in the right end, okay? And then just come down here after putting it in, and then come and click on the continue, okay? Make sure to put in the right address. Then you put in your postal code. So if you're in Ghana, you can use 00233. And then you put in the city, then you come down here, and then you click on the continue, okay? Then, over here, you are going to choose a document to verify, okay? Which, as you are in Ghana, you can use your Ghana card, your passport, or a driving license. But they recommend you go with the Ghana card. That is what I even use to verify my account, and it worked perfectly, okay? So all that you have to do is just select one, which they recommend you select the Ghana card. So after selecting it, then you come down here and then click on the continuum. You can do the same on your mobile app. So what you're going to do now is to take a picture, a front picture and then a back picture of the Ghana card. Okay, make sure it is very clear. And then you have to go with the instructions of taking the picture, which I'm going to read it out for you to hear. Okay, make sure that the picture is very clear. Make sure that it is readable and then the image is clear. It shows your date of birth and then your name correctly. Okay, everything is clear. Then you come here and then you click on the continue. Okay. 
So you have two options. You can take the picture and then upload them or you can use your camera to take it. Okay. So it depends on you, the one that works best for you, then you select it. And then you can simply use the Binance app on your phone to do all this. Okay. So I'm going to select the Binance app and then use the app to take the picture, the front picture of the Ghana card and then the back picture. Okay. So all that you have to do is just scan the barcode and then to take you right there. So after taking the front picture and then the back picture of the Ghana card, it will come just like this one, document uploaded successfully. And then all that you have to do is to just click on the continue. Okay. Then they are going to do a live check. What a live check is all about is that they are just going to let you open your camera in the form of a selfie and they are going to ask you to turn your head left to right and then sometimes nod it and then sometimes blink your eye or open your mouth okay so what i have to do is just click on continue and after doing it it will say verification completed and you can simply close it by clicking on the close just like this one we have successfully submitted the verification and as you can see, we have under review here. We can simply tap on the under review to see when we are going to get the response. And as you can see, they are just going to deliver it within just a day. Okay. So I got mine within some few hours, which shows that I have been verified. Okay. So this is all about the Binance account verification process. Okay. That is all that you are going to need. That is how to verify it here in Ghana. I hope you have learned it and then you have seen the process. It is not that hard, but you just have to go with it step by step. Okay. Thank you for watching the video and then just like it and then see you in my next video.